here are the French having set out from their starting positions. So the first corps was grouped around here, essentially um, cavalry are moving up the road in column. We have um, uh, the corps cavalry, uh, so, so this is cavalry division, another couple of cavalry divisions here, and then the corps uh, have been sort of spread out to try and make the most of the different roads leading up towards here, which is their kind of um, next point of attention. Um, I've put these markers here because they indicate um, nine hexes out from the enemy. Um, outside that range, uh, you can use a uh, extended movement, so essentially you have double movement rate. Um, however, in this scenario, that is only allowed on the roads. Um, because, uh, in effect, because they say that anything that isn't every terrain um, cost is doubled. So you have double movement rate. The double terrain costs are doubled, except the road is a normal case. So effectively, um, and that's all the way up to the 10th turn. So even when we get past here, that we're going to be slowed down a lot. It's effectively we're going to have half movement going onwards. Of course, I started bringing on uh, the second core here, so they will move up quite quickly to this point, but again, it will slow down up to there. Um, before the 10th turn, no brigade is allowed to be um, activated or de deactivated on the uh, Allied side, so they can only these activated brigades would be able to move, unless um, there's automatic activation. Um, when a, a unit fires on them or comes into contact with them, and things like that. So it's going to give the French 10 turns in which to set up. Um, they will start taking some artillery fire before that. Um, but the uh, Anglo Allies will not be able to respond. So um, I considered again moving through here, but this is very difficult terrain and you have a stream, you, streams that are impassable except at bridges. So it means that the whole French force would have to be funneled through here. They wouldn't be able to flank around here because the Anglo Allied would just have to move up some cavalry along the streams, along the, the bridges there and just completely disrupt the movement. So um, if we're going for a flanking manoeuvre, this is the best way to do it. There's no streams on this side. So that's the position at the moment. Uh, so that's 15 minutes after kickoff time.